Hey everyone, Brent Moores here. Today in this mini session, we're talking about order types, specifically the most common types of orders you're likely to encounter as a trader, namely market versus limit orders. Now, before we get too far into this, let me mention the following things that the paper money application is for educational purposes only. And what we're gonna talk about today is for general information purposes only. It's not a recommendation of any security strategy or chart type. Let's head on over to the Thinkorswim platform and discuss order types here. I'm gonna be using just a sample symbol here. It's not a recommendation. I'm just throwing up Microsoft on the trade tab on Thinkorswim. If I want to place a buy order, I can just click on that ask price right here and it will bring up an order. The, the most common types of orders you're likely to encounter, you can find right here under here under order, it says limit there, I'm going to switch that to market. Now, when we look at this, notice what happened. The, there is no price showing when I click on market order. And that is because what a market order does is it is telling you that you're looking to buy at the current market price. It puts a premium on speed of execution, getting in as soon as possible. And, but we don't know exactly what that price is likely to be. Now, uh, if I'm doing this when the market is open, I'm likely to get filled very quickly. I don't know exactly what that price is, Currently, the market's open. I would expect to get filled somewhere around the price that's showing at the top of the screen, especially on a liquid stock like Microsoft, but there's no guarantee on what the price is gonna be. If the markets close, then it would wait until the next market open and then fill at the next market open. But that could be a very different price. There can be a very different price between uh, the close of one day and the opening price on a different day. So the bottom line with the market order, you are probably going to get very fast execution, especially if the market's open, but you just don't know what the price is. Now that's for a buy order. For a sell order, pretty much the same stuff I mentioned is going to apply. If I make this selling Microsoft or whatever stock you're looking at, it's going to it's going to say, hey, let me sell out of this stock as quickly as I can at the current price. But we don't know ultimately exactly what that price is going to be. Now, let's contrast that with a limit order. The other most popular type of order you're probably going to consider as you're considering buying a stock. And so if I change order from market to limit, Notice what appears, a limit price is in there now. That is the most I'm willing to pay for this stock if it's a buy order. So I can guarantee I'm not gonna pay more than whatever price I put in here, but the execution isn't guaranteed. In fact, it may never fill because maybe nobody's willing to sell it to me for this price or less. So that is what a limit order is on the buy side. If I switch that and I'm talking about selling a stock, it's a similar thing. I can guarantee my execution price. In the case of a sell order, I know I'm not gonna be selling less than whatever price this is right here, but I don't know when or even if that order is going to fill. So uh, those are probably the two most common types of orders that you're gonna encounter. But stay tuned for other mini sessions we're gonna cover, where we're going to cover other order types here. And uh, so you can get better at your trading in terms of knowing what type of trade you wanna put in and when is the best time to put that trade in. Thanks for joining me today.